Welcome back. Grass is a valuable resource in the beef industry, which is why producers spend so much time and effort keeping pastures healthy and weed free. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brad Bulla has more on some steps you can take to get ahead of weeds and grow more grass for your cattle. Each year, cattle producers face challenges, from dealing with weather, to improving soil health, to controlling weeds. Paul Kelly of Monticello, Georgia, is a fourth generation cow-calf producer. He's taken his operation and implemented a pasture program that has transformed the forage available for his cattle. And that's been a big help as his pastures recover from severe drought in his area in 2016. We actually had no grass, yeah. I mean, it, it, it was, it, I, honestly, it was, it was dust. I mean, it was, I mean, when you go through the pasture on, and on the mule and the cows are following you, you can make a Western movie. It was so much dust coming up and your dog running behind you and he throwing up dust. And it, I mean, it was just unbelievable. I mean, an unbelievable drought. But now grass is putting back out. We're killing the weeds. It's going to be good spring. Paul says recovering from a drought takes time, but nurturing his pastures and managing them properly are a top priority. Of course, we soil test uh, yearly and, uh, you know, we try to meet the needs, the nutrient needs of the pasture. Just got through spraying graze on this week uh, to kill broadleaf weeds in our fescue pastures and on our hay fields. And then uh, on our hay fields right now, we're great. Of course, we graze our Bermuda hay fields during the winter time to graze the um, ryegrass, volunteer ryegrass off. In our fescue, we do spray them with graze on for broadleaf in the spring, and we stockpile fescue in the fall for our calves. Mac Bolin, a cow-calf producer from Madison, Georgia, also sees the importance of weed control in his pastures to produce quality forage for his herd. It's very important, I mean, because, I mean, what you put into operation is what you're going to get out of it in production, whether it be forage, beef, uh, row crop. I mean, you got to spend money to make money. Over the past five years, Mac and his father have entered the Southeastern Hay Contest and won in 2016. They take great pride in knowing they have quality forage. And Mac says that comes partly from having a strong pasture management program. We do have a pasture program here. Uh, we normally rotate between 2,4-D and Grazon. From year to year, it depends on week, what we have the infestation of, and what our target pests are. And we try to oversee with ryegrass or ryegrass and wheat or ryegrass and oat combination in the fall. For producers like these, taking an integrated, proactive approach is one key to growing more grass year in and year out. The integrated approach to pasture management is really thinking about the whole system. It's thinking about the fertility, it's thinking about the grazing management and the weed management. Uh, it's kind of like a three-legged stool. Those three components, there's not one you can neglect. You have to consider all. It's really in interesting to understand from a soil health perspective that the more grass that we leave, the better the soil is going to end up being. The grass really feeds the soil. And so one of the things I constantly will say is good grazing results in good root development as well as good soil development. So if we're doing a really good job of grazing management, normally we're going to have a really good, healthy soil environment there as long as we're putting in the inputs and the nutrients to the soil to allow it to, to really grow. Working a successful pasture management plan also requires spending time on the lookout for weeds. The experts say scouting pastures needs to start very early in the spring. Scouting for weeds is increasingly important, especially if we're following a stressful season. Uh, for those that have come out of last year's drought, for example, uh, it's extremely important to be out there early in the spring looking for those weeds and really checking to see what kind of weed species that you're dealing with and what kind of pressure you're dealing with. We have some real challenges uh, in this particular area right now. And, and there's a lot of folks that are coming out of the winter that are gonna see a lot of weed challenges uh, this spring. The main thing you're looking for is you're, you're kind of looking for that weed um, that's not visible from driving by. So you, you may have to kind of, uh, depending on how much grass growth, you may have to kind of part grass and look for it. Just standing over, finding those thistle rosettes or, or uh, other weeds that are emerging and uh, trying to optimize the, the timing. One of the big advantages is having a history with the site. If 
you've seen that site uh, for the past two years and you've seen weed problems on them, more than likely uh, you're going to have weed problems again this year and so uh, until they're dealt with. So uh, just recognizing that history, looking for old uh, carcasses of weeds from last year are good, good indicators of uh, uh, presence or a problem coming up. Scouting all year long is really, really important. It's important, I think, to go out there at least monthly to see what you're dealing with. You know, the old saying is, is the best fertilizer for the farm is the farmer's boot print. And I really think it's important for the farmer to get out and take a look at that field and the pastures. Uh, whether it's the hay field or the pastures, we need to be out there on a regular basis seeing uh, what kind of species we're dealing with and what's coming up uh, as an issue. Making a plan, getting time on the ground, scouting for weeds, and getting expert insight can all work together to get cattle producers on the right track for better pasture management. My pasture management advice comes from the Extension Service and they have been an awesome asset uh, to my operation. and. Uh, they really keep me going with because uh, I have a lot of questions and and they have a lot of knowledge. So uh, they, the Extension Service does a super job with with helping me with, with pasture management, weed control, uh, soil testing, uh, the whole deal. They do an excellent job. Cooperative Extension is a is a a really neat system. Whether it's weed control, whether it's it's pasture fertility, whether it's forage production in general, or even each species that's grazing those those forages, we've got those specialists at the University of Georgia that we can turn to that are are great about keeping us up to date with the latest research and the latest non biased factual information that we can share with our producers, and um, we can reciprocate by giving them feedback on how it worked in a real life situation taking the necessary steps to identify your pasture needs and getting help from experts is the start to creating an integrated pasture management program. Reporting from Georgia, I'm Brad Bulla for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Now, if you'd like to get ahead of your weeds and grow more grass for your cattle, a good way to get started is with this free range and pasture weed identification guide offered by Dow AgriSciences. To get your free copy of the Weed Guide, just call toll-free 1-866-USA-BEEF. And for more information on weed control options, be sure to check out the website rangeandpasture.com.